Hello, fashion friends and family. This is Stacy here from Sobromo and Elsa Fitzgerald. I am so excited. Let's see what's happening. Um, we are preparing our cut work for the fashion educational bundle. So I'm going to show you um, the t-shirts um, laid uh, with a marker on top. So you can see a little bit of that process before Nicole goes in and cuts them um, on another day. So if you look close, um, we have the t-shirt fabric, which we buy for from Kendor. They are an ethical um, and sustainable company out of Canada. And here, if you look close, that's the outline of the t-shirt. So by layering it, you get more efficiencies when you are cutting. And we are also preparing for um, more classes. Our classes are picking up. We're getting more students signing up. And something to note, um, our table that we use for our classes is actually a, um, a cutting table. It's what's used in the garment industry to lay the fabrics um, to get more quantity cuts. And then we start to bundle and with those little, these little um, ribbons here, we use to bundle then the cut work. We've received more, more threads. So those are ordered from Waywack. Uh, we recommend them definitely for um, ordering even just small quantities. They do um, allow for that. Call it a day, um, very short day here at Sobromo, but I wanted to show you a new book that um, we've received. So I've been ordering um, books around the needle trades, the garment industries. I already had books around um, some of the unions here in the United States, in particular ones that were based, um, still looking at ones that I could find there, Maryland or East Coast um, centralized. Uh, but this one is called Indonesia's Textile and Garment Industries. Developments in an Asian Perspective. And this was done through the Institute of Southeast Asian Studies. Um, we are making our trip to Indonesia um, in August. So we'll be going again to Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, and then Thailand. Um, but one thing to note is that these challenges are not just challenges that are faced by people in the United States and things being offshored. All we did was export the exploitation. And so it's I'm very curious to kind of read about both sides, right? Both sides, meaning a country that once had industry exported a great deal of it, but then it's worked towards the revitalization of that effort um, and the reimagining of that work. But also at the same time, there's still heavy industry that's happening in these other countries. And just because we're not seeing it through our own eyes, but we're purchasing these garments, we still have to question if improvements can be made to the garment industry and those practices around manufacturing. All right. Well, I will keep you posted on the latest readings and updates, and I will see you next time. Bye.